Good morning, boys and girls. Emergency recording session has begun. Novgorod has declared war on Polotsk for independence. They're sick of those motherfuckers. You know what? I'm sick of them, too. Look how big these motherfuckers have gotten. And Polotsk? Hey. Hey, I got a dick for you. How about you shove it in your poop hole, man? Imperial Conquest. Uh, nobody wants to join, but I don't think we need any help here. The strange thing is Japan could join as defender of the Catholic faith. Maybe. But uh, let's not wait and find out. If Japan joins, we're just going to ignore them. Uh, let's let's invade Polotsk, man. Holy shit. Emergency session here. I'm, by the way, I'm Shinra 2, and this is Germany. Here in Europa Universalis 4. Veritas at Fortitudo Mod. As soon as I saw that pop up, I'm like, well, we got to record now. Fuck it, man. Novgorod just declared war for independence. I'm all for that. Uh, Gotland joined the war against us. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares, but okay. Invade the Polotskis. Holy crap, they're tech 33. They're a tech behind me. They're tech. It's not very advanced. So we sold Venice to our vassal. Has he cored it yet? Nope, and he's not even coring it. Alright, well, we'll just leave our troops there for now and hopefully he'll core it. If not, we'll tag switch over to him and force him to core it. I'm sick that AI just refuses to core sometimes like yeah he bought it in the last episode but he still hasn't even tried to start coring it it's, it's a little weird it's like come on man you ain't doing nobody no favors core it oh i saw a hint of an army is that an army is someone in trouble <gasps> kill him oh he got away damn anyway siege his capital down and yeah, spread out. We'll make a little front line here, which he cannot get past unless he gets access to Lithuania. But there's no way Lithuania is going to give Polotsk access. Just not possible. And the vassals are on their way over here. Hey, we arrived in Penny Ryle. Um, I'm tempted just to rip out of Penny Ryle. We really don't need... Oh, Yap, the Pope, has called for a crusade against uh, Polotsk, which is amusing, but uh, okay. So two of our colonies just arrived over here. I think we're going to get another one, but do we rip out of here or do we rip out of here? You know what? I'll take one. I'll, I'll do a compromise. I'll take one soldier and throw him here to protect this while we run down to Shawnee. We want to get these provinces and block France off, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is enough for France to get a colonial. Oh, no, no, that's only five. That is not enough for France to get a colonial nation. Oh, God damn it, France. God damn it. Are these all finished? No. Oh, man. He, he always gets so many rebels here that he can't actually finish his colonial nation, which is just a tragedy. It's a fucking tragedy. We'll do what we can to help him out. I want him to go to Colonial Nation here. I just, I just do. All right, can we go back to uh, Europe? There we go. Hey, Polotsk. Oh, look at him. He's building emergency troops. Oh, yeah. How's that working out for you, Polotsk? Oh, kudos to Novgorod, by the way. I, I applaud you and your endeavor to get independence from this monster. And Polotsk is a monster, by the way. Don't let them fool you with their... Oh, we're cute and cuddly and we're this wonderful blue colored not it's non-threatening and you'll love us if you just get to know us no no it doesn't work that way okay no you can't just photoshop a picture and tell people that all oh, it was just funny at the time no you don't do bullshit like that uh-uh no siri ma'am no siri bob split up and siege siege that shit here comes the vassal horde the vassal army of vassalage and the bug for ridges minority is still going strong. Strong. Joe will cede a bunch of land to Diviet. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, and I don't know if you guys saw this, but Ayat Haya got a personal union over Ching, which is just awkward because they're, well, I guess the distance isn't that big. But they have this distance thing, and Ayat Haya is just barely clinging on to their prestige of 19. Uh, and they've had the Union for 20 years now. Oh, right. Off camera. Off camera, we annexed most of Majapahit and also Makassar. And we made Kutai spit out Brunei. Because apparently annexing Brunei... I'm sorry. Annexing Kutai would have been 140% war score. So we're going to have to leave that for a future war. But in the meantime, I don't even know what we're going to do with Polotsk. Uh, make him spit out nations, I guess? 
I guess we could take some land. We've already finished coring all this stuff in uh, Majapahit. Heats. Mm. I didn't have any plans to take any land, but maybe we take land. How's the coalition looking, by the way? Uh, it's not that bad. Although there are... No? Yeah, there is one... Eight. You know what's really weird here? We made Kutai release Brunei in the peace deal. That was the peace deal. You release this nation, peace. That new nation, brand new to the world, plus 75 for released in peace, instantly coalitioned us because fuck you, that's why. You released me in, in peace. We're at plus 75. Yay, thumbs up, thumbs up, coalition. Didn't see that coming, did you, Germany? No, I really didn't. I really didn't. But, okay. Oh, Palats, you are so fucked. Novgorod, cheers to you. All the vodka. I'm going to send Novgorod some caviar and vodka. All right, colony has finished in Osaji. Good, good. Which means we can move on down to the Ozark. And there you go. We have completely blocked off France from spreading out. So the question is, is that enough for a colonial nation? I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we don't even need to leave him Arkansas. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's enough. He just has to finish these two colonies. That's all. Uh, fat chance of that happening. But maybe he can do it? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, let them be, of course. Yep, he just lost his colony in Kado. Or not Kado, in Nacogdoches. Oh, for fuck's sake. France, if you just please finish your fucking colony. Ah, more admin research, please. Thank you so much. Alright, so it looks like he doesn't really want to fight, which is fine. From his point of view, this looks pretty fucking scary. I can understand that. Oh, and by the way, between episodes, Lithuania had a bunch of rebels and he flipped back to whatever, Lutheran or bullshit. Whatever religion he had, which wasn't Hussite. So fuck him, fuck him. I, I'm not interested anymore. He's not allowed to be our vassal anymore. Uh, it's just not It's not going to work out, you know? Okay. Hussite settled. Long-term vassal benefits. That's fine. Goody, 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 goody. All right. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even know what we were going to do over here. I had no plans for eating Polotsk. Are you coring this yet, Urbina? Are, are, you, are you... He is. Okay, he finally got... 388 points. Well, yeah, it used to be 388. Now it's 334. He finally got enough admin points to core this shit. So we're going to let him core it, and we're going to let him religiously convert it, and then we'll annex him. Right? That's the plan. Oh, man. What a world. Okay, let's get relations up with you. And you. No, you're good. You're good. You need a hug. How you doing, Champagne? You're okay. Well, give him a hug anyway. And we have an extra diplomat, too. Um, yeah, Navarro. Why not? We'll stab him in the back. I think with Navarro, we need to provide him some type of special punishment for the way he dicked us around in Narbona. Yeah, fuck you, Navarro. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get an alliance with him. We're going to be all friendly with him. We're going to declare war on someone like, I don't know, Castile. And just let them eat him. And then peace out and give all his land away. Because we're that kind of friend. Hey, I've had the AI do that to me before. I've had the AI call me into a war and give away all my land as the peace deal. It's like, are you kidding me? That was in uh, the Venice campaign. Just blew my mind. I'm, Persia was my my ally. And Persia wound up giving like half, half of my territory away. Because he's just a fucking asshole. I couldn't believe it. Oh, man. Polotsk. You poor bastard. It's your own fault, man. Novgorod, 
you can't tame Novgorod, man. We we have seen that from personal experience. You cannot tame Novgorod. Novgorod must be free. Uh-oh. Fire truck. Fire truck. No. Religious upheaval. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, Polotsk. You poor bastard. You poor baby. Ooh, we're converting Sweden. Go us. Can we do this one? Yes, we can. How's it look religiously up here? No, nope, that's the wrong map. There we go. Holy crap, look at that. We've actually got a decent chunk of Scandinavia converted to Hussite already. Looking good. Beautiful purple, of course. The only color that matters. No, no. Twitch chat saying we need to colonize Siberia. We don't, because we have a vassal who's doing exactly that. Our vassal, Yap, is colonizing Siberia. So we're going to let him do it. Because he's good, man. He's fucking good, man. He's also colonizing uh, New Zealand and Tonga. Because why not? You show the world, Yap. You show them how colonizing works. England, of course, is colonizing... Oh, England. Look how slow England was. Castilian Brazil got all the way up to the Inca. England. Hopefully he'll eat the Inca. Can you hear that? Ooh. Lose 50 population in Tonkawa. Or lose 150. I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever. The native event... Very rare. I really think they should be, like, tripled or something. Each colony, you may get one native event, maybe. Usually less than that. Usually it's like one native event for maybe every four colonies. Or less. Or less frequent, I mean. Epic art produced. Gain prestige. Thank you. I didn't need it, but I'll take it. Wow, Novgorod, are you actually losing? No. No, his capital is safe. He needs to lose his capital to, to not get independent. But he is actually losing the war. Somehow, Novgorod is losing this war. How? You're like twice as big. Well, I guess you don't have twice as many provinces. But you probably have twice the base tax. Back to the front has expired in Germany. Back to the front, you will do what I say when I say. Back to the front, you will die when I say you must die. Okay, if you say so, dude. What kind of a game is this? This is sickening. This is not for a child. Resistance? No, the people of Vasterbotten have are set in their ways. No, they're not. Look, I'll put an army up there in Vasterbotten, and they can go suck an egg. You're not allowed to have your own ideas. You're supposed to be converted to Hussite, and then shut the fuck up. Full stop. Full stoop. Full stoop. Yes, full stoop. Ooh. 2,800 ducats. I do like ducats. And I do have a loan to pay off, so let's do that. Move along. Siege it all up. Yeah, I, I think uh, Novgorod's getting the short end of the stick here, and I got some rebels to deal with, but we'll deal with them later. Novgorod's getting the short end of the stick here. Polotsk is sending his entire military force into Novgorod to keep that personal union. He's desperate to keep that personal union. And he's ignoring us! He is not he has not engaged us once. He's completely ignoring us. I saw one of his armies and he hightailed it and ran the fuck away into Novgorod. No, he did not want to fight. Nope, rebels. Go away. Go away. No. Go away, rebels. Someone likes you. You ain't no cookie salesman. Go home. Hmm. Stability seems to be increasing. 57.55. Or at least staying steady, which is fine. Yeah, stayed steady. Okay. I can handle that. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, where's the other rebels? Oh, that's it. It's just that one. It's a double rebellion in Limit. Lu 
Limousine. Wow. I can I can speak, sort of. Are we gonna get a PU over Novgorod? No. Nope. Novgorod declared independence, so we decided great time to go to war. Okay, colonists arrived in Shawnee. Good, 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 good. France, hopefully you can successfully colonize for a change. We've gained anti-Catholic against Orléans, who is allied to France. Yeah, and Frisia, actually. That's kind of neat. Despotic monarchy. Whatever. You do whatever you want to do, India. You crazy, crazy India. No, not Indica. India. God damn. This audience. Yeah, Polotsk is just sieging up Novgorod like it ain't no thing. <gasps> no! No, the shitty, shitty heir has gained the throne. Oh, Ferdinand, you're so bad. This guy, it's like... I mean, granted, he is not the worst we've had before, but he's pretty bad. He's a 1-1-2. One, one, and during his heir tutelage or whatever, he only gained one military. That's it. The emperor is dead. Long live the emperor. Of course we've been re-elected. We're fucking amazing. And Johan is a 3-2-0 heir. Wow. Um, so these two guys are both pretty stupid. Not impressed with them one bit. Darn it. Why can't y'all be cool, man? Why can't you be cool, man? Let's be cool. Uh, designate the queen, of course. I don't even know what those options do. I just always choose the queen, which is fine by me. Vitebsk. Vitebsk. Roll along, Vitebsk. No, my goodness. Who is this? Castile. Of course we'll get a marriage, Castile. You and me, we're like two peas in a pod, you know? <laughs> Except you're a very threatened pod. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Should I guarantee you? I'll guarantee you. I'll make you feel a little better. I don't plan on attacking Castile anytime soon anyway. Maybe later on. Oh shit, now our stability is negative. Uh oh. Ooh, receive extra colonists. Yes! Nice. Uh, when can we get our stability up? Obviously, we can't do it here because it costs 2,755 points. But uh, is it actually increasing? 5775. It seems to be steady. It's not getting worse or better, which is not good. We need this to get to a positive number, positive 300 specifically. Oh, it's actually getting actively worse right now. Oh, shit balls. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't take any land. If we take land, it's going to destabilize us further. So let's not take land. Let's 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 break them up, split them up, get a big old hammer and just pre pretend he's a piñata. He's going to shake out all these candies, all these little nations, right? That's the plan. Hey, we converted Moron or Moron. Good. Let's convert here as well. Oh, goodness. Golden Horde, you are full of rebels, man. You are always full of rebels. Oh, shit. Rebels in Lombok. No. Go, go away, dude. No one likes you. Are we improving relations here? I think we did all the way. We're up to 98. You know, okay. Uh, let's fabricate on his face, then. Fabricating all over your face. Fabricate on Majapahit Heat as well, because we can. He's in the coalition against Portugal, so I guess we could still declare in Majapahit, and it wouldn't really bother us. Except that Kute... Oh no, Kute's not in the coalition at all. Yeah. So yeah, we could easily declare on Majapahit and Kute. When's the truce up? Uh, this one. Four years. Okay, four years. Four years. You got it. Four years, declare on Kute, annex them, and Majapahit. And then uh, when Brunei leaves the coalition, we can annex him as well. I has a plan. Malaya, who we allied, is quite happy with us. Threatened, but still happy. Uh, Toman still has their capital over here, because why not? I wonder if we can get relations up with him and peacefully vassalize him. Probably not. No, definitely not, because he's the wrong religion. I guess we could force our religion on him. That's possible. Doesn't mean it would work, but it's possible. Come on, siege faster. 
There is no prize for last place, my friends. Not even a dung beetle rolling a turd. That's still five cents. Well, it looks like Novgorod's going to remain as a bitch of Polotsk. It's very unfortunate, but there's not much I can do about that. It's not my war. I'm in a separate war. So I guess what we do is split up Polotsk as much as possible. And then he probably won't be able to keep his union. If, if we do a good job of splitting him up, he'll wind up with negative prestige, and then he won't be able to keep his unions. At least that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, military genius has it happened to us. So despite this guy being a complete idiot, He's apparently a military genius, because we're winning a war. Yes, even a 0, zero, zero can be a military genius if you're winning a war. Rival of a threat, Morocco. No, that's just not going to happen. Get that out your dumb head. My god, we're going to be 100% on these guys in no time. Oh, rebels in Palazzo's capital. Anti-government rebels in the capital. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Can we unsiege Novgorod's lands? Yeah, but there's no point. Uh, if we unsiege his lands then he will dominate the region. I don't need Novgorod to dominate the region. What we want to do now is weaken Polotsk. We don't need Novgorod to dominate. Holy shit, my vassals have a stack of 86,000 over there. That is a large stack of vassals. And oh my god, did that say what I think it said? I think it did. Uh, there's no message down here. Damn. It, fi it said that finally, Zurich after all this time, has finally decided that Hussite is the right religion. Holy shit, it's only been 200 fucking years. Actually, it's more than that, isn't it? We started in 1310. 330 years, and Zurich finally decided that No, I don't need a claim on Prussia. No, I don't need a claim on Prussia. Actually, let's get relations up with you. See if we can get you to uh, stop being outraged and maybe peacefully vassalize. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, colony is successful. Milan left the coalition against us. Very good. So, yeah, we have successfully boxed in France. He can no longer escape this box. Good. Just imagine, uh, imagine France is a mime. A mime is a terrible thing. I'm not, I can't make that joke. <laughs> Just get in there, okay? Get in there and fight Maggot. Roll up that way. Oh shit, is that Byzantium? Oh no, we're not going to be 100% because Byzantium's in here. Shoot. Which war is that? Wait, what? I'm confused what's going on here. It says Byzantium is sieging this province, which is fine, but Byzantium's not in the war against him. So, why? I, I don't know. He's not allied to him either. No, I, psh, I don't know. Oh, I guess he's bored and he just wants to unsiege some rebel lands or something. Let's see if we can steal that siege. Get out of there, Byzantium. Go away. No one likes you. You want a replacement in Ulmerica. Alright, I'll give you a diplomat. Start colonizing, dude. Castile needs help against Brittany. Oh, for fuck's sake, Castile. 
Castile. I'm busy. Oh, man. I mean, I want to do this war. But, well, I don't know. I have two ships in Asia, and that's really not enough. Who's joined the war so far? Portugal's in the war. Okay, well, tell you what. I'll split up stacks of ten. And we will all get on the boat. And we'll go dump over here on these islands. Now I'll have ten more guys to go wherever. I'll join your stupid war. And we'll figure out what to do after that. But I mean, I'm not going to take any land here, so that's okay. The problem is... Oh, wow, my vassals already cored this. Are you converting it? No, he's not. So he may not be able to convert it because it has 18 base tax. But he has cored it, so I think that's good enough. Uh, do I want to peace out and start annexing Urbano? I would like to, simply because having Venice under my foot would be really nice. And it would lower our diplomatic relations by one. But it doesn't seem likely, does it? No. All right. Where's my, where's my little fleet of two guys? There he is. So let's go to Tasmania. And we'll siege that down. Okay. I'm in. Put me in, coach. God damn it. I can't hold it against you, Castile. I don't hate you. I just think that sometimes your timing is um, less than amazing. Let's put it that way. In the meantime, we can siege up this province, which I believe has 23,000 Portuguese on it for some reason. Oh, we have gained an alliance against Korea, Ming, Shan, and Yuan. What? Castile, are you at war with Korea, Ming, Shan, and Yuan? No. Oh, Malaya is at war with them. Why? Yuan conquest of Keng Tung. Okay, Yuan declares war on Lanzang. Oh my goodness. Lanzang, Taungu, Maraku, Hantawadi, Ayat, Haya, Ching, and Malaya. Oh my god, that is a war. Holy shit! Yuan, Ming, and Zhou versus all those guys. Wow, that is a war. Huh? Oh, Prussia's improving relations with us. Really. Oh! Portugal peaced out with Golconda. So Portugal's 23 units here are now black flagged and he can't use them. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. And Prussia wants to be a vassal. Oh, yes, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Prussia vassal. Oh, okay. Who, who can I? What is this? Uh, who, who is this even? Uh, this is champagne. No, you're, you're fine. We don't need relations, champagne. This is not time for your supernova, okay? We are going to go to Prussia and uh, vassalize these guys. Can we do that? Can we do... Please? You know. Please? Some rebels in... I don't care where. Please. Prussia. Prussia. I... Oh, he won't take an alliance. Oh, because I'm in a war. Well, it's not my war. Well, not, that's not true. One of them is my war. Look, I'll improve rela- No, 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 we already are improving relations. I will demand your trade power. Can we do that? There we go. Yeah, 46% of your trade power. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it's 66 relations. Good, good, good. And we arrived at the Bass Strait. Okay, 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 okay. Off the boat. There you go. So where's Portugal's navy? Yeah, nowhere to be seen yet. So let's get off the boat as fast. Remember what happened last time we were with Portugal? Yeah, we got fucked up good. So let's see if we can get off the boat as fast as possible and not get fucked up good this time. And he has no defense over here, so that's going to be rather easy. There. No, 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 no. That, that's fine, whatever. Everyone off the boat before Portugal decides to show up, please. So who's in this war anyway? Uh, over here in the New World, it's just Portugal and his colonies. Brittany has colonies down there, so England can fight that. Portugal has a colony, Sahel. And, oh, Haino has joined. Luxembourg has joined against us. And Normandy has joined against us. Really? 
Do I still have claims over here? No. Oh, you're a vassal of Hino. No, I don't have any claims over here. But maybe I'll turn my check mark on, and maybe Castile will give us some stuff. I mean, I'm not going to send any units over there. I got vassals for that shit. I got vassals for that shit. But yeah, we'll see what we can do, man. Yeah, there's Palatska's army. Five shock general with 31,000 troops. Okay. It's not bad. I've got maybe... Maybe 100,000 troops here. I don't know how much shock I have. Probably a lot. I'm going to go attack there with no general. Because we don't need it. Oh, wow. Norway actually has 14 troops. When did this happen? Also, please dock up before you die. Sounds like a song... Sounds like a heavy metal song that someone from EVE Online would make. Dock up before you die! It really does. Now we're about to 100% these guys. So let's go challenge them in Novgorod. Uh, wow, that's the second time we've had native raids in Tonkawa. Interesting. Very unlikely to get this to get two events in the same province. So we're gonna challenge them. We're gonna see what they do. Most likely, uh, they'll just cower, run away, hide, pretend we're not really there. If I close my eyes, it's not really happening. That doesn't work, my friends. Doesn't work. The ostrich strategy. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, he's now sieging Novgorod's capital. That's the one province he needs if he wants to uh, keep his union. But Novgorod, for some unknown reason, Novgorod is unwilling to fight him to defend his capital. Dude, that's your capital. You have to fight him to defend your capital, you dumbass. God, the AI is so dumb. So very, very dumb. So we'll put 60,000 guys or 100,000 guys right here in uh, right here in his face and see if he comes to fight us. If he doesn't come fight us, then I guess we could try to get access through Novgorod. But most likely we won't be able to get access through Novgorod because Novgorod hates us. He's hostile. So if we can't get access, we can't actually go over there. Unless, of course, Palatsk sieges Novgorod, then we can. So I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and guarantee you... There we go. Come on. Don't worry about the alliance. Don't, don't worry about the war. He's worried about the war. Where's this? Simshan. You have discovered Simshan. Where? I want to see, but there's an autosave blocking me. There we go. Aha. Apparently Simshan is part of uh, the coast of British Columbia. Interesting. Simshan. Sounds Chinese. So very Chinese. All right, well, our check mark is on. So most likely, if Castile's feeling generous, he'll give us some of this land. Uh, that really is up to whether or not... And he is. This, that, I was going to say it's up to whether or not he actually sieges Portugal proper. Last time he didn't. I had to do it myself. But he did give us some stuff last time. So I guess it's not all a loss. Just kind of a pain in the in the butt, you know.
Oh, he has left Novgorod. So, I don't know what Palatska is doing. He was sieging Novgorod, and then he left. Novgorod is sieging down here with just two soldiers, it looks like. I don't know what's going on. Where is Polotska's army? Don't know. Yeah, I don't see his army anywhere. He could be somewhere, I don't know. Maybe he's walking. If he's walking, you won't actually see them sieging. All right, first Caribbean island down. Ruthenian Patriots. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, Frankfurt's converting. Wow, after all these years, Frankfurt is finally converting. It's a base 10. Important center of trade. All right. Hop to it. Uh, Dietrich Mars. Gain stability. Yes, please. Oh, man. So that was uh, one of the wonderful events you can get if you have a level 3 advisor. We have three level 3s? Yeah, we have, we have two level 3s. So if you have a level 3 advisor, there's a chance that you'll get an event which gives you either 50 prestige or plus 1 stability. Usually you want that stability, but if you're having trouble keeping a person union, obviously 50 prestige can be very useful. Okay, so we're done with Bone. I guess we can head up to Minade. And where should I steal my guy? Tonkawa? No, I'll steal from Ozark because I have some armies protecting there. Uh, and let's head to Menade. There you go. Base three. I'll take it. That's what she said. Okay, who needs relations? You know what, Aragon? You could use a hug. You haven't had a hug in a long time, Aragon. You deserve some attention. Even if it's uh, a fork in the eye, you at least deserve to be recognized as existing and uh, not... Wow. Holy shit, he really hates us. Negative 185. Jesus. Calm your tits, man. Comb your beard. My goodness. Conversion of Frankfurt. All right. Well, who's this? Y'all want some access? You got it. Military genius again. Good, good. Aha! Tasmania has fallen. You know what? Just dock up there. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Actually, no. We should probably probably get on the boat and go, go home. Actually, home for you guys will probably be over here. And yeah, there's, there's Portugal's 23 black flag units. That's so fucking funny. Um, go sit in Makassar. Think about what you've done, you son of a bitch. Uh, okay, yeah, we've completely sieged him out. Every single Palatskian province is sieged. The only stuff that is not sieged are the provinces that he has sieged in Novgorod. But we can't actually do anything about those because we have no access. And Novgorod hates us, so we can't get access, but uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Can we please get an alliance? Please? Pretty please? Oh, come on, dude. Yap has called a, a crusade against Portugal. <laughs> I'll give you a gift, okay? Look, uh, 75 ducats. That's how good of a guy I am. Oh, come on, let's have an alliance, dude. And a marriage. You want a marriage? Oh, yeah. Dude, let's have sex, Prussia. You and me. Germany and Prussia, all the way. We were meant for each other, man. Come on. Lots and lots of raunchy, raunchy sex. Come on. Palatska and Novgorod have white pieced, meaning Novgorod is independent? Yes, Novgorod is independent, and we are now 100% Palatskian sieged. Good job, Novgorod. I'd like to think I helped out even just a little bit. Okay, so release Chernigov, maybe? Wow, Muscovy? Yeah, I think Chernigov would be a better release. Look at that. Done. Holy crap, look at that. Massive, massive chunk that we just released. Okay. 
let's head to Donzig with, um, actually go this way to make sure we don't miss out on, uh, yeah, just go there for a minute. Can we get you? Can we get you? Can we get you? Oh, there we go. Alliance, alliance, alliance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. 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 Come on, come on. Oh, click harder, click faster, click faster. What's this? Brunei left the coalition against us. Good. Uh, Prussia wants a marriage. Yeah, sure. Dude, I want an alliance, not a marriage. Come on, come on. I know you do. There, yes. Next month. Next month. I can't, I can't wait. I can't, hold. I can't, I'm, I'm not breathing. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm breathing. What's this? Trade efficiency or 2,800 ducats? Well, they're both good, but money's money, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, fine. Yes. Dude, don't 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 bother me with that nonsense. Yet. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Precious my vassal. Wow. All right. Well, that was good. And he has cores all over this bitch. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, why don't we call that episode here? Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Uh, we'll probably peace out with Portugal off camera. Uh, I assume it'll be, I don't know. If it's anything amazing, I'll record it. But most likely, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, he may give us some of the Caribbean. He may not. Oh, my vassal is actually fighting the Portuguese Navy down here. Let's see how that goes. It looks like it's going horribly awful. Huh. Uh, yeah, not going so hot, huh? My vassal has... No, my vassal has heavies. My vassal's going to win. He's got heavies. Yeah, go get him vassal. Go get him burrito. This is burrito Reich. This is the pride of burrito Reich. <laughs> uh, they call it the seventh fleet, but I imagine it's called like the flying burrito. Please win burrito Reich. Oh, it's so close. They're both trading light ships. Oh, oh, oh man, it's so close. I think burrito Reich has it though. Yes, yes, they've got it. They did it. They did it. Oh, congratulations, Burrito Reich. You know what? You know what? Here. Um, that that was amazing, dude. Here, give him a thousand ducats. That was pretty amazing. You're, you're the best. I know he has more money than God because he has all the gold mines in the world. But uh, still, pretty amazing, right? I, I approve of this message. I do. Oh, shit, rebels. Kill them. Come back. Do I have a general? Nope. Can I get a general? Nope. Uh, can I steal a general? Can I steal a general? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for more adventures in the lands of Germany. Formerly Hohenzollern. Novgorod's back. Hello, Novgorod. Palatsk has been heavily crippled. And we now have Prussia as a vassal, who is Hussite and has cores. A lot of them. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.